What's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here. I want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. And uh, we're excited, very excited about tonight's training because it's it's a neat, it is a very, very neat and simple yet very powerful way to automate sales. We'll be getting to that shortly. Um, everybody is now just piling in the room. Um, it, it's crazy. I think uh, I've been doing this series now for six years, I believe it is. And every week, as soon as we hit go live, just hundreds of people pile in until we eventually max out at 1,000 people. So uh, thank you all for being here. You all should be able to see my screen right now. So if you can see my screen, go ahead. You can hear me and see my screen. Go ahead and uh, let me know. Type in a one. Flood the chat box with ones. Awesome, cool. Okay, so what you can see right here is our welcome screen. And if you're new, I know it's like, whoa, what is all that stuff right there? Uh, well, it is years and years of compiling uh, important resources is what it is. So on the right-hand side, you have uh, our social media. So make sure that you follow me everywhere because I do different things in different places. Um, Instagram and YouTube are probably the big two that you want to follow. Um, so at Adrian Morrison on Instagram and same thing with YouTube. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have some of our Shopify tools. Now, all of these tools do different things. Um, on the top left, there are like little $10, $15 apps uh, that can create thousands of dollars in additional sales for you. So you can go to each of those links and check those out. In the bottom left is our fulfillment apps that we use, uh, Pillow Profits, Shine On, and Zendrop. So uh, these links are up here every week for those of you that are new. So, you know, you can go watch the replays, all the good stuff. Um, Zendrop, Shine On, and Pillow Profits are, are our top three resources for drop shipping. In other words, they fulfill products for us. Um, so make sure that you watch those. And if you don't yet have a Shopify store, go to shopify.com slash Adrian Morrison. So my full name, Adrian, A-D-R-I-A-N, Morrison. It's up there at the top. You can get a 14-day free trial. It's important that you go through that link because Shopify actively watches me. All right, so let me get my webcam on real quick. Uh, can everybody see me? Yes. Everybody can see me, my crazy uh, artwork behind. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I know I have, I've gotten uh, a little bit of a tan, you know, uh, out at the pool this weekend. Uh, but the reason it's important that you go to my Shopify link is because Shopify tracks all of my students back to me. Um, I am a, a top Shopify a, a partner and essentially, what they do is they look at how many stores do I have set up through my link on Shopify and what is the success rate of those stores? And because of that tracking, I've been elevated just from, um, you know, having a, a great course to a certified e-commerce entrepreneur that's endorsed by Shopify because they're able to track my results and um, to be fully transparent, that's one of the reasons I do these webinars every week so religiously is because I know that if I do this webinar every Tuesday, whether I feel good or don't feel good or I'm on vacation or, you know, uh, on a business trip, whatever, I know that if I do this every week that you will make progress, you will make moves and you will stick with e-commerce because you will start to see that you are getting results and you're achieving your goals. And Shopify can see that. And so when you are uh, on a Shopify, you own a Shopify store through my link um, and you stick with Shopify and you have success and they see you're getting sales and stuff, that reflects greatly on me, um, not just as a Shopify partner, but as a e-commerce um, mentor on their platform. So that said, make sure you go start your store there. Um, and if you want to have more than one store, like a general store and a niche store, you can certainly do that and go through my link as many times as you want because it tracks each individual store to me. So 
That said, um, this is everything on the home screen. Now, let's, for those of you that are new, I just want you to know we've been going through some training the last couple of weeks, and it's been an incredible series that, uh, you know, we're coming to, like, I guess the last part of this particular uh, series on the dog products that we're marketing, and then we'll start up something new. But if I come over here to our Access Adrian portal, everybody should have uh, a membership here, a free account here. So if you're on this webinar, then you're in this members area, all right? And if you're brand new, make sure that you come in here, you click under My Courses and Software, you click on Profit Power Hour, click Access, and when you click Access, it's gonna take you to a free members area. You can see all the years we've been doing this. Click on 2021, boom. Now, last week, you'll be able to see where I introduced the Profit Pal app to you, uh, which is a strategy that we use to get people to go on spending sprees on our Shopify store, which has been uh, amazing. We had a student beta test it that did over, I think it was $20,000 in, in sales uh, before we released it to the community. And um, it's, it's awesome. We've have, had a lot of people get that. You can go watch this. Hover your mouse over my profile photo and hit subscribe. So you subscribe to my YouTube channel and you get all the free trainings and stuff that we put out. And then of course you can go watch all of our replays. So every week we put the replays right here in a free members area for you. So I hope that you appreciate that. I hope that you use it and consume it um, and execute with it. Now let's talk about uh, tonight's training, okay? So tonight what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you uh, a secret to automating sales in Shopify, um, something that pumps out sales for me day in, day out. As a matter of fact, um, in my own Shopify store, it's so funny. Um, I, let me see if I can pull it up here. Um, just It was just the other day. I was like, okay, uh, I just got it. I turned off the notifications on my phone for Shopify sales because they're just so annoying. I mean, like it just buzzes and buzzes and buzzes, ding, 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 actually it's cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. And it, it, it becomes, you know, pretty dang annoying. But I've got to show you something. Listen, I, I'm not a BSer, all right? I, I, don't, I don't screw around and I don't teach fake stuff and stuff that doesn't actually work. And what I'm going to show you tonight is something I'm actually doing. As a matter of fact, it's something that just generated for me the other night a $1,030.17 sale. All right. So I want to show this to you. All right. So this strategy here, let me see if I can get my phone. I'm, hope, I'm hoping my phone, that, that it will focus on my phone. So this is on one of my personal. Shopify stores, okay? I have this pulled up. Oh, there we go. All right, so this is a sale. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, all right, so check this out. So this is a sale that came in, and it's going to be backwards, but it's for $1,030.17. And it's crazy because i mean it's wild they ordered what is this 44 products from from one single sale on this strategy 44 products let me see if i can get the list of the products and i want you to see what some of these products are what does that look like to you what does it look like it looks like the dog life jacket that I've been saying you should be selling. The dog life jacket. So this person came in and ordered um, 44 different products from me, uh, many of which are the dog life jacket, but they got a, a dog sprinkler. They got a backpack carrier. Um, they got some uh, tumblers that had dog sayings on them. 
and it resulted in a an order that was a thousand and forty some odd a thousand and thirty dollars now i gave them a huge discount okay so um actually you'll you'll notice here let me see if i can get this i don't know why it looked like everything was mirrored oddly i'm just trying to see if there's a, a setting where i can unmirror this but i don't think there is um but anyways you'll see here that they ordered 44 items uh, it's so weird that this is backwards it looks backwards to me but they ordered 44 items and they got a um 434 dollar discount so their order was 1500 bucks essentially and they got a 434 dollar discount they spent a thousand and thirty dollars paid sixteen dollars for shipping and handling using our shipping hero app um, and you'll also notice that this came direct from uh, an email. So it was not from a Facebook ad. This was an order that came directly from email. So you'll see there it says it's a first order directly from the store. Um, so that being said, I know that oddly uh, the webcam is is uh, you know it's flipping things upside down, which is really weird. I wonder what would happen if I just put the the picture upside down that would be interesting let me see okay this should be interesting right here all right maybe if i turn my phone upside down it'll turn all of this right side up huh. it's still upside down interesting well that's either here nor there point is is I did a thousand dollar order after spending like five minutes trying to show you all this. This I should have just taken a screenshot, put it on my computer. Uh, but that's a live sale. Um, anyways, what this did is it enabled me to create a uh, essentially a automated sales funnel. And there are a couple of things that we can do when we are trying to automate sales like this. And and that was at four o'clock in the morning. Um, that. No, it wasn't. It was like six o'clock, I think, in the morning that that came in, and it came in as a direct, literally a direct customer to the store. Meaning it wasn't a Facebook ad that drove that particular visit uh, to the store. All right. So what I want to do tonight is I want to show you how I'm able to generate sales like that while I'm sleeping, because you know I am not up at six a.m. And how I do it every day, literally every day, with a simple funnel all right so what i want to do is i just want to review a couple of things number one is the product that we um are selling or the product that you saw me sell is this life jacket right here you probably saw some orange pictures of it um <clears throat> it was actually the one without the shark fin i didn't have that one on my store yet but um it was this dog life jacket you can find it on zendrop you can find it on aliexpress um, we've actually done research on this product. I myself have sold tons of this product and it still sells to this day. Um, it's more of a recent discovery by us. Um, it's not something that we've been selling for like years and years and years. And so uh, we started out selling this doggy cuddler bed, right? Because this is like our most viral product that we would be, we could be marketing right now. It's hot. Um, you can go back and watch all the replays. And, and Google Trends will show you that these plush doggy cuddler calming beds are really hot products. Let me take a sip of my coffee real quick. Okay, now we also discussed that getting a sale for a product like this isn't really where the money is. Getting what's called a front end sale. The fortune is in the follow up. And so last week we went over a way that you could upsell people. So whenever somebody buys this product, they're presented with an upsell uh, that sends them back to the store for a shopping spree. And that was using our app called ProfitPal. If you have not watched that yet, you, you definitely want to go back to your Profit Power Hour members area, the webinar replays, and watch last week's replay. Um, it was really cool. It was a really awesome app um, that essentially shows you um, exactly how we send people 
on these shopping sprees after they make a purchase by giving them a coupon that looks like this right here. So after they make their, I know this is kind of like, you know, a crazy view here because my webcam's over there. But um, we would show them this coupon after they purchase and send them back to the store on a shopping spree. And that's what we went over last week. But there are other ways that we could do this, all right? So there are other ways that we can get people to come in and make a purchase um, over and over and over and over again. So essentially what happens here, y'all are going to want to pay attention here. It's very simple, but you don't know what it is you don't know. And because a lot of people don't know these, these things, um, they're, they're leaving money on the table and nothing makes me more nauseous than leaving money on the table, leaving opportunity on the table. I, I would rather lose money out of my pocket knowing that I took a risk, right, that could reward me than lose money from opportunity, right? Lose money that I have the opportunity to make, but that I didn't even get the chance to make because I didn't know the strategy. That's what makes me sick. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we are going to go over how to automate daily sales on Shopify, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about is how do we automate sales on Shopify? Um, and you know, essentially what we're, it all starts, it does all start with the Facebook ad. So it's all going to begin uh, right here. So your starting point is gonna ha be to have a product that you're selling in a Facebook ad, okay? So this is your Facebook ad. And for us, the product was the plush pet bed, okay? So this was our starting spot right here, is a Facebook ad that we created uh, that was selling this plush pet bed. Is everybody with me on this? Okay, and essentially what happens is, is we get traffic to this pet bed and we hopefully generate sales. And um, you know, it, it does, it, the, the pet bed generates sales for us. That's, that's phenomenal, that's great. That's, that's what we want, is we wanna make money, okay? We wanna generate sales. And you notice that it said, that up here I say, this is our starting point, okay? Our starting point is with the Facebook ad selling this pet bed. Now, again, if you're new to the webinar series, I do this every week. Go back and watch the replays. You can see exactly how we made the Facebook ad for the pet bed. I, get, I showed you the ads, the targeting, everything. And this is designed to create a front end sale. So let's just notate here that Facebook creates something called a front end sale, okay? Front end sale is the starting point. And sometimes on the front end sale, you may, let's say, spend, $25 and you may earn let's just say 20 and that would bring you to a loss of negative $5 Ugh, that's no good right? When you're running a front-end product like that plush pet bed, you're going to pay for traffic, you're going to generate sales, but those sales may not always amount to a big profit. Now, oftentimes it does, okay? So don't get, don't freak out and say, oh my gosh, I'm never going to make money on Facebook ads because Adrian said that I'm going to lose money on every Facebook. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that I have an automated strategy that creates, generates, and earns money for me while I am 
on my boat in the lake, while I'm at my pool in my backyard, when I'm working on another business, when I'm on a webinar like this, I am making money on the back end, okay? And because I am able to automate money on the back end of my e-commerce stores, I don't care about this $5 right here. I don't care about that negative five dollars. Who cares? Let me tell you who cares. Uneducated marketers. They care. Uneducated marketers care because they don't know what they don't know, right? Uneducated marketers are not running um, a real automated funnel. And when I say automated funnel, it sounds so ninja, right? But it's really just a couple of very simple steps that we can take that enables us to make money even if our Facebook ad goes a little negative. And when you can afford to go a little negative on your Facebook ad, then you can literally destroy the competition. You can destroy anybody else selling the same product as you. If they're not, if they if they're not following the strategy that I'm about to show you, then they can't compete with you, right? And if you wonder like how all these people make all this money and they're running all these ads and you're only focusing on their Facebook ads, then you're focused on the wrong thing, y'all. If you're just looking at what people are running on Facebook, it's like, geez, you know what? They're selling these cool coffee mugs right here and their ads running all the time, so they must be making money because this coffee mug right here has got to be popping off. Like this coffee mug has got to be making some crazy money because it's got a sunset on it or something. And that's what you're focused on. Then the joke is on you because you're focused on really a lead magnet. You're focused on a product that isn't designed to profit necessarily. You're designed, you're focused on a product thinking that this is where the profit's coming from, when the profit's really coming from the coffee that's inside this mug, right? That people get on an auto ship that is uh, billed to them monthly recurring. Or they're made, you're, the money that's being made off this coffee mug is coming from selling a bundle of these coffee mugs uh, for the family or that have personalization on them. That's where the real money's coming from, y'all, right? Who wants a coffee mug that, um, you know, who, who wants a coffee mug that doesn't drink coffee? Who just has one coffee mug? What families don't have specific, you know, uh, partners have specific coffee mugs that they like? I mean, you know, it's just, it's common sense, really. So who cares if you lose a couple of bucks on your Facebook ad every day if you have an automated system with Shopify that is designed to make you money every day without spending a single additional dollar on ads. Something that for me, while I was asleep one morning, popped off a thousand dollar sale. And it's there's a combination that we're going to use and I'm just gonna make some dots here, okay? I'm not like the most, uh, epic artist in the world. So a couple of things that happen here is once this sale happens, where we lose the $5, last week what I showed you is how we use an app called ProfitPal. We're not gonna talk about that today, but um, how we use ProfitPal, whoops, there's not two L's in Pal. Uh, the ProfitPal app, to send people back on a spending spree with a discount. And when somebody makes that purchase and they see our ProfitPal app pop up, it sends them back to the store, right? To go, uh, to go back to our Shopify store to stack their cart and buy more products, right? So it's going to send them back to the store whereby they will probably end up purchasing uh, one or two more things. And 
when they come back to the store to buy more products because they're on spending spree. So back to our Shopify store. What's going to happen is we're going to earn another, let's just call it $19 here. Through this upsell strategy. Okay. So why are we so worried about this $5 that we lost on the Facebook ad up here? If we know that we spent 25, we made 20, we made most of our money back. Does that make sense? And then because we had ProfitPal, which is this really awesome app that I showed y'all last week right here. I don't want to do it and uh, we'll do it right here. Um, because we have ProfitPal, ProfitPal sends people back and earns us an extra $19 just like that. So now we're at a $15 profit. Does that make sense? Because it's an upsell. So our main product took us negative a little bit. So okay, mate got us a customer. Customer acquisition is the most expensive part of marketing. Once you acquire the customer, getting more sales is easy. So ProfitPal um, helps us immediately turn a profit. And that's why I showed that to y'all last week. I showed you ProfitPal because it's something that just makes us extra free money. And it allows us to not worry about if we're 5% negative or 10% negative on our ad spend because we know that we are going to get upsells that come in within the next 20 minutes after a sale that probably will double our order value, right? Okay, so this with ProfitPal is called a back-end sale. Back-end sale. All right, so you have a front-end and a back-end. All right, so you've got the front-end and the back-end. And this is phenomenal. This is how you run a good, profitable campaign. But I want you all to write down something I say over and over and over and over again. And that is the real fortune is in follow up. So the real fortune is, in fact, in the follow-up. And so for this, we will highlight this in green. All right. So the real fortune is in the follow-up. What does that mean? I thought we did follow up with ProfitPal. We did. A quick snip, follow-up, a one-hit wonder that's gonna save you if you go negative on an ad. Uh, that's going to help you increase your profits on the front end so you can scale harder. But ProfitPal isn't really a follow-up sell. It's an upsell. There's a difference between a follow-up sell and an upsell. An upsell is immediate. A follow-up sell happens a little bit later down the road. You see, this front-end sale, this customer, right, as you all know, every time somebody buys, ends up in our email list. Now, this is where things are gonna get a little bit different, okay? So the customer is going to end up in our email list. Let's draw a little email here. That, email, that, that sucks, I can't even let that stay here. Oh my gosh. All right, so they end up on our email list. And this is where things are going to change a little bit for us, all right? Um, traditionally, what we have done is we have sent out what is called a catalog, a catalog sales follow-up email to our prospects. And I mean, this thing grows rapidly. So your email list will grow 
rapidly. So like we would say month one through uh, month 12 of a year, maybe month one, you end up with, oops, I'm always thinking in terms of money. Um, you end up with 1,000 people, but by month 12, because you're able to scale, maybe you have 36,000 people on your email list, right? So this is the growth of your email list. All right, so as people go to your Shopify store and they buy things or they opt in, they go on an email list. Now, traditionally, what I have said, y'all, is that you send emails to these people that are catalog emails. Now, a catalog email is kind of gonna hit everything. So a catalog email promotion that you send to your customers is gonna have dog stuff, it's gonna have cat stuff, it's gonna have tactical stuff, it's gonna have shirts, just whatever your hottest items are. And they're designed, right, to get people to, um, you know, to shop around and buy random things because just because you like dogs doesn't mean you only like dogs. Um, you might also like have other hobbies and interests as well. Does that make sense? Yes, but what if I told you that there was a way, an automated way that you could set up emails to essentially send people very specific products, very closely related to what they previously purchased. How many of you in here think that would be a really good idea? So this plush pet bed that somebody bought, right? This is a pet bed. Let's just say that now that they have bought a pet bed, we don't necessarily want to send them a catalog email with cat stuff and tactical stuff and shirts and other dog stuff. But we want to be very like precise and we want to execute emails with precision and we want to show them other products very closely related to the pet bed or dog stuff in general. Well, this email list that you have right here with all the growth, <clears throat> so you can send another type of email to them that's automated. So the catalog emails are semi-automated. You can have virtual assistants, write emails for you, pop them off once a week, throw out some random stuff. But you can have also these that are called niche automated email sales or product email uh, sales. So we'll do this in green. And what's gonna happen is whenever somebody makes a purchase of that pet bed, all right, they are going to go into these email funnels that you create for each product. So we'll just do a couple of these. Let's just say that somebody email uh, buys the pet bed. Somebody buys a, uh, let's just say a, a tactical flashlight. Somebody comes in and they buy a um, coffee mug. And somebody comes in and they buy a, let's just say a, um, I don't know, let's just say a cat toy, okay? Buy cat toy. Would you all agree that these buyers are different people and they are interested in 
different things. Would you agree? Yes? They might all enjoy coffee. They might all love cats and, and dogs. They might all like tactical flashlights. But it's proven if we send them emails with things very shortly after they make a purchase that are closely related to what they purchased, that we're more likely to generate a sale than if uh, we sent them a big blanket catalog, like a newspaper that you gotta go through, which still works and we still send, and still makes a lot of money, but it's semi-automated. These are automated, set them up one time. So whenever somebody buys the pet bed, they go into a email funnel. Whenever somebody buys the tactical flashlight, they go into another email funnel. When somebody buys a coffee mug, they go into this email funnel. And when somebody goes into, uh, they buy the cat toy, they go into a funnel. And so based off of this, every week, weeks one, week two, week three, week four, we're going to be sending them a product, right? So uh, product one, product two, product three, product four. Same goes for this. But these are different products that are getting emailed simultaneously throughout the week. Does that make sense? Yes? Because look, somebody that buys the pet bed is gonna buy different products than someone that bought the tack light and someone that bought a coffee mug is gonna buy a different product than the rest of them, and somebody that bought the cat toy is gonna to buy a different product. So we have these different pools, and when you're running a store, um, when, when you're running a, a general store, this is a really important because, I mean, you know, you, you have to make sure that you're reaching people when they open your email with the right product. So. Look, again, look what happened from that Facebook ad. We ran a Facebook ad for a plush pet bed. And what did it do? It got us people that are interested in dog stuff. And it dropped them into this pet bed funnel, okay? And now this pet bed funnel is gonna send them an email every week with a dog-related product. So if you're looking at this, you're like, geez, Adrian, this looks really complicated. Um, you got all these colors and these highlights and all these different things on here. Um, you know, this, this looks really hard. I don't think I can do this. All I've done is just explain the logic of it. Like the setup is so much easier than the logic explained on the board. Really what you need is an ad that produces traffic. And then you need an automation setup and an email marketing uh, provider that is designed whenever somebody buys a specific product type to have emails that will send them more similar products. How do we do that? All right, let me show you. So one product that we would want to sell behind the, uh, the plush pet bed that we've been selling, okay, is this dog life jacket. And earlier I showed you a earlier I showed you that I got a thousand dollar sale on my Shopify store early in the morning when I was dead asleep because of this very automation selling a dog life jacket product behind you guessed it another dog product that we've been selling. So it was just another automated sale that had no ad cost involved using this exact strategy that I'm gonna teach you right now. Now there are a lot of different companies that you can use for email marketing. Um, I like MailChimp. I've uh, been pretty vocal about that over the last five years. MailChimp is the company that I use. Um, if you have Ecom Success Academy, there's an entire training inside of Ecom Success Academy um, under the email marketing section, where I show you exactly how we integrate MailChimp, exactly how we get MailChimp to work with Shopify, 
uh, using a very simple app called ShopSync, which is free. So if you come over to uh, the Shopify app store, you can uh, get a completely free app that is called ShopSync. Okay, there it is right there. And it will connect your MailChimp account to Shopify. So every time somebody opts in to your Shopify store, they shop around, they give you your email address, they buy something, guess what happens? ShopSync will then send them to your email list right on over here inside of, uh, right inside of MailChimp, just like this. So our gear grabber example store has 3,100 people that are subscribed. Y'all see that? So every time somebody comes to our gear grabber store, buys anything, fills out a, a opt-in form, they are dumped over here into um, our MailChimp account under our gear grabber store audience. Now inside of uh, MailChimp, there's a little button on the left-hand side. Do you see it? It says automations. Now, the automations button is phenomenal because it makes it very easy for you to do what I just taught you without it looking as complicated as my whiteboard. <laughs> so you notice here you got customer journey, you have transaction emails. Um, so this is a transaction email is an email that's ideal uh, for highly personalized one-on-one -on -one messages, uh, retargeting ads, uh, postcards. What we want to do is we want to send the customer on a journey. If a customer comes into our store and they buy a pet product that's a pet bed and it's a calming pet bed, we want to immediately send them on a journey that offers them other products similar to that calming pet bed. So that could be other products designed to uh, relieve dogs' anxiety. It could be, um, you know, other pet products just in general for like walking your dog or, you know, having your dog out at the pool, whatever it may be. We wanna send them on a very uh, niche and product personalized journey. So we can hit, just inside of MailChimp, we can hit start building and we can call this our pet bed buyer's journey, hit start building, and it becomes very easy at this point. You see, there's a starting point of the follow-up. So this is where your follow-up starts, and we're going to hit choose a starting point. Now, of course, shop uh, MailChimp is going to bring up a couple of options, and you'll notice here that it says buys a specific product. Y'all see that here? I'm highlighting it in blue, buys a specific product. So what we'll do is we will say, hey, anytime, and look, it pulls in all the products from our store automatically, no coding required, just install Shop Sync on your Shopify store, it's completely free. Remember that's in our Ecom Success Academy training, and boom, 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 it's done. So let's just type in, <clears throat> cuddler so here's our doggy cuddler bed and we hit save starting point now if you have other similar products to the doggy cuddler bed you can add another starting point and hit specific product and you can say oh by the way also if they were to buy this other type of pet bed I'm selling right uh, if you have a different, a couple of different types of pet beds, you can add that additional starting point here. Now, this is the beginning of their follow-up journey. So as soon as somebody buys a pet bed from my Shopify store, MailChimp will see that because MailChimp is connected to Shopify. And then it's going to say, well, what would you like to do when that happens? Well, the first thing that we would like to do is we would like to add a tag. To them. Now, a tag is just a way that you can tag customers that are in your funnel to, to essentially, in the future, you could say, I want everybody that's ever bought the, the uh, pet bed, and I want to put them in an, on a new journey. This is how an easy way to do it. So you can hit choose tag. Uh, if you already have tags created, this could be like pet niche, whatever, whatever you want it to be. Um, or you can create a new one. All right, so let's just create a new one. And we're just gonna say our pet bed journey. 
So this just lets us know that if we ever look at this, whatever leads are in here in the future, if we want to select these leads later and put them somewhere else, uh, or we want to know if they've already gone through the pet bed journey, not to ever send them back through this journey, um, then we could do that. And so we can add the, the tag, our pet bed buyer, or whatever. So now whenever a customer buys something from our Shopify store, uh, MailChimp will immediately put them on this journey and tag them and say, okay, this customer, this email is, is or has been through the pet bed journey. Now what we'll do is we'll delay, okay, because they just bought the product. And depending on the shipping times, if, um, you know, the shipping is going to be 14 days, you probably want to delay for 14 days. Um, if shipping is going to be a little bit faster because you're using a U.S. supplier, then you can make this a little sooner. Uh, but typically what we'll do is we will delay this for 14 days, so two weeks. And so as soon as the customer buys the pet bed, we know they're going to get their bed in less than 14 days because we use good suppliers like Zendrop and we have expedited shipping. So it goes like 10 days, they have their product. Um, so we're going to wait two weeks. Now, two weeks thereafter, the next step is going to take place. And we're going to send them an email. All right. So this email right here that we're going to send them, if I click on this, we can now quickly customize an email. And this email could have sub, uh, it could have a subject that says, you know, uh, perfect with your uh perfect with your uh anxiety pet bed or doggy cuddler pet bed or whatever um and then essentially you can go ahead over here and click on select the template or use a previous campaign or you can just design the email in and of itself so you can come over here and you can create an email that will sell a specific product so essentially what we're doing here is we're just sending them a one single email that um, is going to be designed to sell them a product that will complement their pet bed. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, yes. It's as simple as that, right? Um, so <clears throat> I lost uh, my work right there because I forgot to hit save but anyways so just starting from scratch someone buys the pet bed all right starting point then we want to tag them just to show you how quickly click quickly we can do this pet bed journey save um, and then we want to add this tag to them and then we want to um, we want to delay we want to delay this email for two weeks to give them time to get the product. And once this is done, uh, we want to send them another email. Boom, just like that. Now, at this point, we would go in and we would create that email, right? Uh, and this would email to them maybe our dog life jacket, right? So um, this way, we know that our customer will, as soon as they buy a pet bed and they have a little bit of time uh, to get their pet bed product, we're gonna start email marketing to them. Um, we can start email marketing to them to buy the, the dog life jacket, okay? Or it could be a dog tracker or whatever, because anxious dogs sometimes will get really high anxiety and run off. Um, if your dog has high anxiety and you're anywhere around a pool or anything like that, you might wanna put a life jacket on them in case they fall in the pool or whatever, because they get scared or startled. So. These are things that would work behind a pet bed. And so uh, what we're doing is we're creating this follow up, right? The fortune is in the follow up, this follow up funnel. So this would be for the pet bed. And then guess what we would do? We would hit another delay here. <clears throat> and then we would delay this for seven days, maybe two weeks, just depending. And we would do a if and else rule. Now, an if or else rule means before we send them another email, we want to see what action they've previously taken. So um, you can add a condition. 
So the conditions will say, um, in a week, I want you to check and I want you to see if that person has purchased our jackets, our life jackets. So I would say, what is that called? Doggy life vest. So uh, we would come over here and say doggy life vest. Just find it in, in our list here. It's in alphabetical order. I just scrolled past it. A, B, C. Where's our doggy life vest? My eyes are like, all right, there we go. Here's our doggy life vest. All right, so if the product purchase is doggy life vest, then what we would do is they would go down this yes path here and we would send them another email promoting another product, all right? If they have not purchased the doggy life vest, what do y'all think we should do? Well, we might send them one more email because maybe they didn't see that other email. And this would be our last chance email, right? So this would be our last chance to get a discount on the doggy vest. While the person that already bought the doggy vest, we're gonna already be sending them the next product right? And then once we send them that product, again, we'll have set a delay and a delay. And now we have two paths. Does that make sense? We have two paths now. So somebody that came in and bought this doggy calming bed starts on this journey here. And uh, we wait for them to get their product. And then we send them an email promoting them product too. And then a week later, um, if they've already bought product, if they bought the product too, that we're selling, um, we'll send them the product three. If they haven't bought product two yet, we'll send them one more email because sometimes one more push will get them to purchase that email. Does that make sense? Or purchase that product. And then, um, you know, we just keep going and going and going and going. Um, and it, it just, it's simply from here, we're done. Like, you know, every week or so, um, what we'll do is we'll come and we'll add new. Uh, we'll add a new product to this journey. And so eventually over time, right, this journey will be very long. And every time somebody buys the pet bed, they will go on the pet bed customer journey and they will be marketed other products very similar to the pet bed. And every time somebody buys a cat product or a coffee mug product or whatever, you have another journey built out for them. So this is fully automated, yes, but out of the gate, you have to build, go ahead and build these journeys for your products. So you can have, uh, and you also could, it doesn't have to be just product-based. <coughs> it could be niche-based. So they bought a dog product in general, then you would be building less of these. But I'm telling you, if you build them for specific products, then the outcome will be much greater. The outcome will be much greater. I wouldn't do this for products that you're not actively selling, but something that you're running Facebook ads for, right? That you know is generating a lot of sales, it would be wise to build this out inside of MailChimp. So it's an automated funnel. And from now on, every single person that comes in and buys a product from you uh, that is a pet bed style product, will then go down this journey. You see, it all starts right here with the Facebook ad. If you're using ProfitPal, ProfitPal can send them back on a, a spending spree to buy more products. And if you're at a negative, it could turn that negative into a positive by doubling your, your order value. And then the customer is dumped onto your email list. And of course, you could be sending them catalog newsletters every month, sure but they're also going to be dumped into your niche automated follow-up funnels. And these funnels, every week, you can go add another two or three products to it. So you don't have to do it every week, but like if you go ahead and add a couple of weeks of emails to it up front, then you know eventually you'll be six months worth of emails. So legitimately, when somebody buys a product from you, 
they'll, there'll be six months of automated emails that they'll get um, because you built them up over time. Does that make sense? So you're not going in and writing an email every day. It's just, hey, every week, why don't you make it a priority to go add four more products to your pet bed follow-up journey? Um, and so then in two weeks, you'll have eight weeks worth of marketing done. In three weeks, you'll have 12 weeks worth of marketing done if you just add four new products to your store. Now, at this point, adding more products to your store is a good thing. When you're first starting out, just trying to get sales on Facebook, you don't wanna add a zillion products to your store. But when you have a follow-up funnel, you have a follow-up journey, you wanna add as many products as you can to that journey so you're always marketing something new to your customer. And because of this journey and because of Profit Pal, I've been able to go in and I generated a $1,000 sale the other night while I was asleep. And no, it doesn't always produce $1,000 sales. It produced $20, $30, $50, a, a free plus shipping, $10.97 uh, 1097 order. But um, I have all of these journeys, right, that are niche-based or product-based journeys that are working for me. And once a week, my team will go in, add a couple new products to each journey, and then anytime somebody buys, they start at step one. They start right here at week number one. So if I've got 20 products added to this funnel right here, then for the next 20 weeks, they are going to be getting an email every week promoting a new pet product to them. And this person, uh, 20 weeks of tactical lights. Anybody who has a coffee mug, 20 weeks of different other coffee mugs and funny coffee slogan t-shirts or whatever it is that we're, that we're selling. And so, yes, this is a little bit more of an advanced strategy but we're not here to play games. You wanna you wanna get a bunch of fluff that uh, you know sounds super easy and magical? Go to YouTube. You can watch some uh, you can watch some fake guru with a uh, rented Lamborghini standing in front of an Airbnb mansion that they forget to claim and it isn't theirs, and they'll make some stuff sound super magical for you. I promise you. But if you want to really learn how to do e-commerce, and you wanna learn how to make money long-term, right? This is how it's done. It's done on the back end, and it's done through follow-up. It's not done with that one magical Facebook ad that's gonna make you a gazillion, gabillion dollars just selling the pet bed. It's what happens after they buy the pet bed. What's the next step? That's where the money is made. And the next step is get them back in using something like ProfitPal uh, to send them on a spending spree so they will double up on their order and spend more money and then dump them into an automated niche journey based off of what product they purchased and every week market to them a new product that is one single product. Don't send them an email with 20 products, okay? One product. This is the product of the week. Our latest, greatest, hottest, and here is a special deal because you bought the pet bed. You can always refer back say because you are a customer of our, you're one of our uh, VIP customers uh, from buying the uh, pet cuddler bed, you're going to get a 15% discount on our newest dog product this week. So on and so forth. So now you have that personal touch. You're speaking to them. It's not like you're just throwing an ad in front of their face. You're talking to them like, oh, they're sending me this because I bought the pet cuddler bed. So they actually know who I am. Let me read this, right? You can send them an email that says about your pet cuddler bed purchase, dot, 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 dot. Well, what about it? Let me um, open up this email. Uh, because you bought a pet cuddler bed the other week, we wanted to uh, reward you with the 15% off discount code uh, to our, our newest, uh, our new, newly listed doggy life jackets. Uh, they're selling like crazy right now. We have limited supplies and you can get 15% off if you order right now. Boom. All right. Week number two, another email, another product. Number three, another email, another product, so on and so on and so on. And eventually you won't even have to run Facebook ads anymore if you don't want to. Now, it would be silly to turn Facebook ads off because that's what, you know, uh, fuels the funnel, right? That's what feeds the beast, if you will, or feeds the machine. Uh, but 
eventually you want so many leads that every day your emails will just make you money and you don't have to spend money on ads or have to have a stellar all-star day on Facebook ads to be profitable because you'll have these buckets of niche automated funnels through MailChimp, it could be Clavio, there's other autoresponders and they all will do this and this is how you turn your e-commerce business into an automated machine that pumps out sales day in, day out, while sleeping, while awake, while on vacation, without any effort. You can set it up, up front, and this is how you run a real business right here. And so I hope that you enjoyed this. How many of you in here got value from this? Just say me in the uh, question answers box. Just say me, 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 okay, cool. Um, I'm going to, in the next week or two, <coughs> probably, just because I'm getting so many emails about it, some of you that are on this webinar are currently in my Done For You Shopify store program, or Done With You, meaning um, you're a beta tester that saw one of my ads and you, you're in our program where we actually help build a store with you. And it's not something that I've opened up to everybody. It is literally kind of like a by invite only um, or by chance only situation. But in the next week or two, um, I'm probably going to come on here and open up a couple of slots for that. For those of you that would like to work with my team and have them build something like this out for you. Because I know that you might be looking at this and you're like, geez, Adrian, even though it's simple, it looks like tedious. And, and that's, that's probably true. But what we are going to be doing in the future is um, I will have some team members, not a lot, that can kind of go in and do some of this stuff with you, guide you through it, like on a one-on-one -on -one call, um, can help build you a, a store from scratch the way that it's supposed to be designed with all the right things on it. And so that's coming up. Uh, we have a a decent bit of people in the beta program, um, some of which have just had ridiculous success. I mean, we've had students come in the program and just, I've never seen anything like it. Like you probably saw Bradley, um, uh, you probably saw uh, Kadesia posting in the group. I mean, they just did phenomenal. And so uh, I will be releasing that in the couple, next couple of weeks. I might take like 10 new students or so for that, we definitely can't do like where 300 people sign up. It, it would wreck my company. I just cannot have that many people at once. We don't have the resources to do it. But just curious, how many of you in here would like that, that do, doesn't currently have it, would like to get in our done for you uh, or done with you store build program and Shopify automation program? Go ahead and say me. I see a lot of you are already in it. Um, I shouldn't say a lot. Uh, but a good bit of you are as we've been running our, our beta test with it. So congrats to you if you are. Um, to my veteran students, uh, we've never really released that to them. So in the next week or two, I'll probably come on when my team tells me, hey, we're good. We can take on a couple more students and I'll drop an application here. And once uh, every now and then I'll, I'll try to reserve 10 or 15 slots uh, for this group to get some of you in that would like to to get in that and take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one, uh, coaching help that we have where you can go in and you can build stuff like this right here with a coach. That way it's easier for you. And I know that you would benefit from that. So we'll, uh, we'll take applications for that pretty soon. I'll drop an application on this webinar uh, next week or the next. And, um, <clears throat> you know, we'll see if your application fits. If your application fits, then we'll be able to enroll you in that program. It's not free, obviously, uh, but you know, if it's something you want to do, we'll, we'll be offering that option to you in a, on a limited basis. Um, I, I've honestly, I've never put it on this webinar because whenever I put anything on this webinar, we get three to 400 people in 24 hours that sign up. And as crazy as it sounds, that's my worst nightmare, is three to 400 people signing up for a store build with you program. Um, in a day, I mean, it would, I couldn't handle it. So uh, we're gonna have to do it on a limited basis. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and next week we will uh, continue on. We'll keep building out Facebook ads, doing product research. Uh, we will be releasing the, the store build 
uh, done with you program with one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, with my team pretty soon we'll probably have about 10 or 15 slots for that leaning more towards 10 probably and uh, so stay tuned for that if you're not already in it and remember show up here every single week 9 p.m. Uh, EST every Tuesday night and make sure that you open the emails I send you that you watch the replays because repetition is key to success and you need to watch these webinars more than once you can fast forward them go to certain parts of them get past the bantering and the chit chat and really focus on you know going in and, and learning the meat and potatoes of these webinars I use them as a as a way uh, to really connect with you and give you an idea of what's going on in my life and so we chat a little bit and then we get to the the training so I hope that you enjoyed this um, and I will see you next week, same place, same time, right here on the Profit Power Hour. We'll have free giveaways, free gifts, uh, done for you store builds. I'll probably be doing a done for you store build giveaway in the future, um, where we literally give away like a $5,000 store build, uh, which would be pretty epic, huge. I know a lot of you would, would love that. We'll open up slots for that program, um, 10 slots for that program, probably. And yeah, we'll just keep on with the free training. You know, every week I do this training because I want you to succeed. I want you to excel. I want you to move forward. And I want Shopify to see that I really am out here invested in your success. And uh, they'll keep backing me and endorsing me. And, you know, they give me perks and they give me um, certain things that uh, in communication, right, that other people don't get because of your success due to coming to these webinars specifically. You can't afford to miss these webinars. Some weeks you're gonna love them, some weeks they might be a little boring, some weeks it might be something you already know, but you never know what I'm gonna teach on here and you can't afford to miss them. So show up every Tuesday night, 9 p.m. EST. Um, I'm gonna give away $100 in the Facebook group now, so we'll go live, we'll give away 100 bucks on Facebook. Um, I will see you there. I hope you all enjoyed tonight's webinar. I love you all. If I don't see you on the, the uh, Facebook to give away the money, then I will see you next week, 9 p.m. EST, here on the Profit Power Hour. Good night, y'all.